What's up, Hope Kids? Pastor Tony here, hanging out with you guys for Hope Kids at Home. We are in the last week of December. That means our last week of talking about Christmas. Remember, Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Yes, Christmas, my favorite season, is over. That means no more Christmas music on the radio. That means I have to put away all my Christmas lights. The Christmas tree has to go back into its box. All the presents are now put away. All the Christmas cookies are eaten. Starbucks does not have the Christmas cups anymore. Everything is over. And one of the things about Christmas that brings out, one of the best things about it is the Christmas spirit. How people treat each other with joy and with niceness and you just feel like Christmas spirits in the air. And now that is all gone. Even though there's so many things ending and we're putting stuff away and we're not going to be thinking about this until next year at Christmas time, the truth is, is that there are always things that we can look forward to and that things that we can celebrate. That the Christmas joy and spirit doesn't have to end, but it can continue on even after Christmas is done. So in today's story, we're going to look at what happens after Jesus is born. And let me tell you, something actually really awesome happened that is really good news. So check out the so-and-so show and I'll be hanging out with you guys after the video is done. Well, time to put it all away. And I'm starting with you. Head first. Ah, that's the ticket. All right. Hey, Brandon. Jump. My name's Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Mm -hmm. It's the last show of the year, John. Mm, how you feeling? I'm... Uh... Listen, the holidays were lovely. They always are. We'll take any opportunity we can to celebrate the birth of our Savior with the people we love, but can we just be honest and talk about how long this year has been? 365 days as usual. Or was it a leap year? So much stuff happened this year. Yeah, well, that's why I'm looking forward to the new year. You're actually looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a new beginning. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the new year with a positive attitude. No, absolutely not. I fell into that trap last year, and I'm not gonna fall for it again. I came into this year with goals. I was gonna learn how to play the drums this year. You did learn how to play the drums. <sighs> what if next year is just as long as this year? Again, 365 days is sort of standard. What if, Brandon? What if? Don't ask me. No, <laughs> Brandon. Who? Someone who knows stuff. Oh, uh, who are you and what do you know? I'm the new year and I know that it's party time. Boom. See John, next year's gonna be a party. <laughs> so, you're the actual physical manifestation of the new year? Ah, you catch on fast, pal. I'm a baby at the beginning of the year, and by the end of it, I'm an old dude. 
Weird. You're weird. So uh, what kind of year is it going to be next year? Yeah, this year took forever. Who knows? Every year's different. But I can promise you this. Nothing bad is going to happen in my year. You can promise that. I can promise anything I want. I'm a baby. I have zero life experience. Boom! Nothing wrong with a, a little optimism. You said it. I've got my whole life ahead of me. And nothing's going to bring me down. But seriously, good things and bad things happen every year. I only remember the bad things. Ugh, I made a list. Number one. Ugh, la, 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 I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Shh, shh, shh. Did you want to make the baby cry? You didn't want to make the baby cry. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> gotcha. I can turn on the waterworks whenever I want. I'm a baby. Boom. Okay, look, here's the thing. There's no reason next year will be any better than this year. Sure, we say we want to make a difference when the new year rolls around. We want to exercise more and write that novel and end world hunger. But then the middle of January rolls around and we're right back where we started. Maybe my year will be different. Maybe my year will be awesome. Boom! Boom! How is that worth two booms? It wasn't. I'm a baby. I just made a boom boom. <laughs> boom! Listen, John, I know it's been a long year, but that doesn't mean the future is something we should worry about. All right, prove me wrong then. Show me there's something to look forward to. I'll give it a shot. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Boom! Hey guys, Kellen, we're in a pretty bad way here. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just the whole year. I get it. But it's about to be a new year. The new year is a baby. What does he know? Uh, like I said, it's pretty bad. I can tell. Do you maybe have something that can give us a little peace of mind? Oh, I know just where to look for peace. On a flannel graph. That'll have to do. Let's go. All right. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. Sleep well, Harriet. Meh. What a beautiful starry night. Seems like any other night to me. Taking care of sheep is boring. Meh. No offense, Harriet. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them. <gasps> Do you see that? Look! <gasps> Run away! Come on, Harriet. Don't look at me like that. Nah. Do not be afraid. <gasps> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> what do you want? I bring you good news. Hold on. Boost me up. Oh. <laughs> now I can hear you better. Probably didn't happen this way, but whatever. The angel gave his message. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. The Messiah? Here? That's amazing! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh! oh! oh Harriet! Harry, are you all right? Oh, I'm falling. You didn't break my fall. Oh. How do we know you're for real? Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. A little help. Oh. Ah! Thank you. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appear. Well, now I'm not bored. The angels were praising God and saying, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he has pleased with on earth. After they had delivered their good news of peace that was for the whole world, the angels left. And the shepherds, well, they hurried on to Bethlehem. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus, just like the angel said. I think it's this way. Hello there. An angel sent us. <gasps> Well, will you look at that? In a manger, wrapped in cloths. The angels were right. 
The baby is the Messiah, the Lord. We have to tell someone about this. Who? Everyone. Quickly. Oh, you can just, okay. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. Hey, everyone, we have news. We saw angels. The Lord has come to earth. He's going to bring peace. <laughs> Don't just stand there. We've got to tell everyone about this. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on, everybody. Follow my lead. All who heard the shepherds were amazed at what they had said. The shepherds gave glory and praise to God. Everything they had seen and heard was just as they'd been told. The end. We've had so much fun doing this show all year long, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have fun next year. But I want you to know that even when things are stressful and don't always seem under control, we can still have peace. Because I can promise you that God is in control. God sending his son is good news for all people. It shows us just how much he loves us and helps us remember that God is with us no matter what kind of year we're having. And like the shepherds, we can spread the good news of God's peace to everyone we meet. We can work together with each other and with God to make the world better. And well, that's why I have peace. That's why I have peace. That's why I have peace. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year to you too, Kellen. You feeling more peaceful, John? I am, yeah. I mean, no matter what kind of year I had, I know God has been looking out for us since the beginning of time, so it makes one year seem pretty small. Mm. That's a smart way to look at it. I am very smart. S-M-R-T. Uh-huh. Reveal the question. What does it mean to have peace? Right, peace is more than just being calm or quiet, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, maybe it means being chill when bad things happen, you know, like me. <laughs> By the way, you're all out of Cheetos. What? <laughs> just kidding. I'm joking, I'm chill. You were joking too, right? We're, we're not out of Cheetos. Talk about it together. What does it mean to have peace? Mm. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Happy New Year from the So-and-So Show. Yeah, seriously, did you eat all my Cheetos? 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Woo! Wait, 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 wait. There's still four more days to go. Oh. <sighs> eh. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Christmas is over, when you think about it, Christmas is more than just one day. In fact, it's the start of something bigger. Think about it. The shepherds who have just been hanging out in a field tending sheep, when they heard that this baby was going to be born, they followed the star to where the baby was. They got moving. And when they had seen the baby in real life, they just didn't stay there with Jesus. They were moving again. They went and told everyone about what they had seen. And more importantly, they shared the good news that Jesus, this gift that God had given the world, was a gift for everyone. It was good news for all people. See, and here's the good news. The good news actually starts out with bad news. That even though there is sin in this world, meaning that things go wrong, Things will go wrong against you and you will do wrong things against other people. When you feel anxious and worried and stressed and scared and fearful and all of the things that don't bring peace, the good news is that God sent Jesus to bring peace. Meaning, we can have peace about a number of different things in our, in, in our life. We can have peace that when we believe in Jesus, when we put our faith and trust in God, that we are in a relationship with God and nothing, the Bible says, nothing can ever separate us from God's love. We can have peace that we will always be in a relationship with God. We can have peace because Jesus is the thing that will help us handle all of everything that goes on in our life. Anytime that you are scared 
Anytime that you are worried, anytime that you are fearful, that you are anxious, worried, all of those bad emotions. See, we can have peace in no matter what we face in this world. That God has given us a helper through the Holy Spirit to help in any way of our life. And we can rely on God to help us through. He can bring us peace when things seem so chaotic and seem so weird and things seem so strange and seem so different and seem so bad. Really, I'm talking about 2020, right? Even though we go through all these things, Jesus helps us bring peace because God is peace. We can worship God because he is a God of peace. And we as Jesus followers can rely on God and trust in him that he will bring peace to those situations that are far from being peaceful. And because of who God is, our role, our job, our responsibility is just like the shepherds. So the shepherds came because they heard something amazing. But as soon as they heard it, they left. And they told other people all the good news about who God is. In the same degree, in the same sense, that's our role too. We know the good news of Jesus, so we have to get moving and tell others about who Jesus is as well. We can share the good news that God is for everyone. And that brings us to the main point for today. God's peace is for everyone. Yes, I use the word everyone. Not just people you like, not just people who look like you, not just people who play on the same sports team, everyone. Your brother and sister, those who don't know Jesus, those who look different than you, like different things than you, maybe treat you differently than what you would like. God's peace is for everyone. So what are you going to do next? Who's someone that you can share the good news of Jesus with? Who's someone that you can share the things that you've been learning at Hope Kids at Home? So that way they can know about the good news of Jesus and maybe they will follow Jesus themselves. But our role is just like the shepherds. The good news, God's greatest gift, isn't something we keep to ourselves. It's something that we need to share with other people. And that is my challenge for you this week. Who can you share God's greatest gift with this next week? So, hope kids, live that out this next week. And I'm excited to hear what happens in the conversations you have and how you live that out as far as people knowing God's greatest gift. Well, hope kids, I have some big news. In fact, it is a great gift that I want to share with you and I've been holding on to it to be able to share with you up until this moment. We know things have been different and weird and Hope Kids has been on pause all throughout this year. Since last March until now, we have not had any Hope Kids services, but that is going to change because Beginning on January 7th, that Thursday, and that Sunday, January 10th, Hope Kids Elementary is going to be back in person having service. Now, it's going to look a little different, and we'll walk through that when you are here, but I want you to know that we are coming back, and even more better, bigger, good news, we have a brand new room for us to be in. It is going to be amazing. There are so many fun things that we are gonna be able to do and that we have planned and made specifically for you. So mark your calendars, tell your parents, you need to be at church January 7th or January 10th to come meet us and join us in the New Hope Kids space for our first time coming back since March. So that is my big, great news for you. We can't wait to worship with you, to hang out with you, and ultimately to see you in person and not through a screen. So we hope you have an awesome rest of your winter break, and I'll see you guys next week for another time of Hope Kids at Home.